Okay guys, so uh, this will be the, our last part of our fourth video. So uh, hopefully tapos na kayo dun sa uh, first part natin. So let's have a quick review kung ano yung discuss, what we discussed last time. So we started guys with integration by substitution which has the following main form which is the integral of function of u du. So based on pinag-aaralan natin, so uh, this also called as the chain rule for integration. So dito, if you're going to take out or pull out ka ng function dun sa main function natin which is ito siya, and you take the derivative of that function, at uh, you will notice that it is also uh, on that original function. So nandun din siya sa original function natin. So, let's say, ito your function of u. That, let's say, set the function of u as your u. And if you take the derivative of your function of u, that is f prime of u, and the derivative of u is du. If you notice, so you can uh, replace, or pwede nyo palitan yung function dun sa original function. That's why ang tawag sa kanya is substitution. So from the original function, you're going to replace it by its substitution. Then last time, so we also solved this uh, special example. So yung number one, we solved this on our previous lecture using uh, basic uh, integration formulas. But last time, so last video natin, so sinod naman natin siya using substitution formula or integration by substitution. Okay, then we also solved problem, uh, I think four or I think three more problems. Okay. So that's the uh, first part or parang part one ng substitution. Then before I proceed with uh, part 2, so let's try to solve another one. So ito yung sabi kong pang fourth problem pa natin. So bali fourth na pala, pang fourth to. So, so I, uh, sinadya kong iwalay talaga to for this one. Okay? Okay, so our fourth or as a review na rin, so let's try to solve problem number 4. So the function is the integral of 4x cubed plus x, so open and close parentheses multiply by the square root of 4x squared plus 1 dx. So, dito, uh, as a beginner, guys, so, I think medyo may rapang kayo mag-solve. So, or, uh, if you don't see the pattern yet, since, dito sabi ko nga, in substitution, you need to identify your u. Which is yung very crucial yun. Uh, because, if, pag mali kayo nang na-identify na u, is automatically, magkakamali kayo dun sa substitution. So, dito, uh, if you're going to check let's say ito yung pinili natin u and you differentiate so based from your experience yung sa differential calculus so wala, hindi siya lalabas so, if you're going to derivative or to derive it will result in 12x squared plus 1 so hindi naman siya equal dito sa function na to and if you're going to let this one as, a, as your u say ito yung ginamit natin so pag dinerive mo so, 4, 8, or sorry, 8x, 8x, so wala namang 8x dito. So, how hard are going to do a substitution on this one? So, dito, gamit tayo ng konting magic. So, algebra tayo ng konti. So, paano? So, kung mapansin natin dito, sa first function, or yung sa function na to, common yung x. So, pwede kang, pwede mo i-factor. So, let's try to factor x. So, may yung sa loob is 4 x squared plus 1. And then, square root of 4x squared plus 1 dx. So now, what do you notice guys? So, same na halos yung base nito. This this one has an exponent of 1. So, then, ito, ang base nito is 4x squared plus 1. That is under a square root. So, base from algebra, pag same base, nakamultiply, mag-add yung exponent. So, magiging, ano siya? So it becomes, so exponent to is 1 half plus 1, result into 3 halves. So it becomes, so 4x squared plus 1 raised to 3 halves, then x dx. So clear guys? So yun na. So now, I think kita nyo na kung ano yung magiging u natin dito. So what will be our u? So our u will be 4x squared plus 1. Right. Then, if you're going to differentiate, so derivative of u is du is equals to 
tail x and then derivative of x is dx then if you divide both sides by 8 cancel out so it becomes du over 8 is equals to x dx so check kung pwede bang i substitute so na eliminate ba natin yung original function so x dx so yun siya so d over 8 then u replace natin yung 4x squared plus 1 of u so now do the substitution so palit na natin so it becomes u base to 3 halves then yung x dx ito so we replace it by du over 8 and then using basic integration formula na lang so since mayro tayong constant na 1 over 8 so pwede natin i-pull out yan dun sa integral sign so 1 over 8 integral of u raised to 3 halves du okay. then applying na lang power formula so magiging ano siya so 1 over 8 so bracket u so 3 halves so plus 1 then kung hindi nagdag i-divide sa baba so 3 halves plus 1 then 1 over 8 and what is 3 halves plus 1 5 halves so u raised to 5 over 2 or 5 halves divided by 5 halves then plus c which is our constant of integration so if we divide this to a fraction of 5 over 2 so magi inverse yan, diba? so 1 over 8 so using algebra so making 2 u raised to 5 halves over 5 plus c then we're going to check mag it will cancel out so become 1 and becomes 4 okay then you just have to multiply so 1 4 times 1 1 over 5 is 1 over 20 so making u raised to 5 halves over 20 plus c sir tapos na ba hindi pa since we're going to bring back yung u na tinanggal natin kanina which is ito yung original function so by replacing u by 4x squared plus 1 so our final answer will be 4x squared plus 1 raised to 5 halves over 20 plus c and this will be our final answer okay, so clear so yeah so dito uh, just a quick review lang so unang ginawa natin is we need uh, we do a simple trick using algebra so kinactor out natin yung x then combining same base multiply so add exponents so 1 half plus 1 3 halves then you can do now the substitution so we replace this by u then derive so nandun na then applying basic integration formula then we arrive at the answer guys so practice lang yan guys so oh, I'll give you a lot of problems involving this one so you can practice now. Okay? So any questions so far? Okay, so let's move to our uh, next part which is part 2 na tayo. Okay. So dito, so if you're going to remember, or if you remember, so we already discussed uh, this one. So the integral of du over u. So on this part, must expand pa natin siya. Okay, expand natin yung idea dito. So, ito, sabi ko, this is also called as the integration of a logarithm. Kasi, if you're going to recall, di ba? So, diniscuss natin ito. So, yung last formula dun sa basic integration is the integral of du over u is equals to the natural logarithm of u plus c or the loan of u. So, depende kung paano yung binabasa yan. So, what do you notice? What's the difference dun sa unang diniscuss natin part 1 ng substitution yung first part niya dito sa second part so if you're going to notice this one is already a rational expression or a fraction so while well, yung una yung mas sinosolve natin is what so hindi siya fraction so in, ito this one gagamitin natin to if you're going to deal with functions na rational or naka fraction siya okay so this dito sa function natin. So, if you're going to let this function as your u, and you take the derivative of this function u, nandun sa numerator yung derivative niya. So, automatically, that's already ln of u plus c. Okay. So, ganun natin. Uh, that's how we define part 2 of substitution. Okay, so, 
Baka magamit natin yung formula. So, let's try to solve this example. Ano example na? So, basic example muna tayo. Okay, so your function now is the integral of 2dy over 3y minus 4. So, what? ano nga nang gagawin natin? So, of course, since meron kang constant 2, di ba? so, pwede natin yung i-factor out sa integral sign. So, magiging 2 integral of dy over 3y minus 4. And by the way, guys, huwag baka magtaka kayo bakit naging y na yan. Of course, pwede naman yan since arbitrary, pwedeng z, pwedeng y. So, hindi laging x. Okay? Pwede magbago yung function natin or variable ng function. Okay, so after factoring out 2 or yung constant, so based dito, so alamin natin. So, ano yung i natin? What's our u? So, we let u is equals to 3y minus 4. Ah, then, what's next? We take the derivative of this one. So, derivative of u is du. Then, derivative of 3y minus 4 is 3. And, derivative of y is dy. Then, if you're going to divide both sides by 3, so cancel out dito yan. So, magiging du over 3 is equals to dy. So, now, pwede na tayo mag-substitute. Pwede na, di ba? So, we can replace dy by du over 3 and 3y minus 4 by u. So, by substitution, so 2 integral of, so dy we replace by du over 3 all over 3y minus 4 which is your u. Clear? Then, what's next? So, kung napansin nyo, meron tayo ulit constant. So, constant natin now is 1 third. So, pag constant, ilalabas natin. So, pag nilabas natin, magbumultiply sa 2. So, 2 times 1 third is 2 thirds. So, integral of du over u. And, kung mapansin nyo guys, this expression or this function is already in this form. Yung sabi ko. So, of course, what is the integral of du over u? Ln of u or ln of u. So, 2 thirds ln of u plus c. Automatic na yun. So, transform nyo lang yung original function nyo into this form ng substitution. And, sir, tapos na po ba? Hindi pa. Kailangan natin lagi ibabalik yung natanggal natin. So, by replacing u by its original function, so the final answer will be 2 thirds ln of u, which is yung 3y minus 4 plus c. And this is our final answer. Clear? So, so, always make sure lang na guys na lagi tayo mag sa substitute. So, identify the correct u or yung u natin identify, then you take the derivative, then after deriving, you substitute dun sa original function. Papalitan natin. Then, we arrive at this form. Then, of course, based sa formula natin, so derivative of, or sorry, integral of du over u is ln of u plus c. Then, bring back the original function. So, yun na. So, madali lang yan. Example natin. Okay, so, let's try another one. So, ito. Medyo upgrade na konti. So, meron na tayong, uh, sa denominator, meron tayong quadratic equation, which is the integral of uh, 2x minus 5, open and close parenthesis, dx over x squared minus 5x plus 3. So, sa so denominator nga, so, as I said, quadratic equation na siya. Ganyan na kasi linear, di ba? Kung napansin natin. But, wala kayong problema yan. So, same concept lang. You, you first identify the u. Diba? Since wala ka namang, you cannot pull out any constant here. So, so diretso na tayo dun. So, what is our u? Our u is x squared minus 5x plus yeah. Then, we take the derivative. So, du is equals to, so, derivative of this function, 2x minus 5. Then, derivative ng function of x, which is dx. Yeah. Then, what do you know? Okay. So, direct, di ba? So, we can see na, yung derivative nito is nandun sa numerator. So, by replacing, or by substituting your, this one to your original function, so, Substitute 2x minus 5 dx by du and x squared minus 5 plus 3 by u. 
and what is the integral d over u? Oh, simply lang. So, ln of q plus c. Then, you bring back the original function in u, which is x squared minus 5x plus 2. So, it becomes the ln of or natural logarithm of x squared minus 5x plus 3 plus c. Clear, guys? Diba? So, madali lang siya. So, for checking, so madali lang. So, I-derive nyo lang. So, let's try to check. Mabilis lang. So, what is the derivative of ln of x squared minus 5x plus 3? Diba? Derivative of ln is the inverse. So, inverse natin. So, derivative is 1 over x squared minus 5x plus 3 times the derivative of your function which is x squared minus 5x plus 3 and what's the derivative of a constant? 0 okay so what's the derivative of x squared minus 5x? Diba yun? so making 2x minus 5 over x squared minus 5x plus 3 so yun siya. so correct siya. since parehas na yun sa original function which is 2x minus 5 over x squared minus 5x plus 3 so tama yung integration na Okay. So now let's move to our next problem. So break time content. Okay, so our third problem is integral of 1 minus 2x squared over x dx. So what do you notice now guys? If you're going to compare it in the two problems that So una Ito yung sinod natin, di ba? So, yung highest order of power of x, nasaan? Nasa denominator. Tama ba? Pero now, kung papansin nyo sa third problem natin, is yung highest order of power of x, nasa numerator naman. So, dito, this is very special case. Kasi, as we solve this one, hindi mo agad siya magagawa ng substitution. Since, yung highest order of power of x nasa numerator ngayon. So, uh, gagawin natin, we need to apply division here, guys. Okay. So, how do we apply division? So, una, i-expand muna natin tong numerator. So, by numeric expansion tayo. Then, we divide the whole expression by x. Here na. Okay. okay, so una, expand natin numerator. So, this will be our procedure. Expand numerator then next divide by x okay so yun na so, let's try to expand first so integral of so expansion nito so 1 squared so 1 minus twice the product of negative 2x plus 1 which is negative 4x then plus so square nito so 2 squared is 4 then x squared dx all over x. So, yun na. Next, pandun natin yung numerator. Next is, we divide this function by x. So, magiging ano ngayon yan. So, integral of, so, I'm going to divide. Magiging 1 over x. So, divide na, since, in numerator mo, ay yung denominator mo is single term lang. So, ang gagawin, distribute mo lang siya. Dito, divide mo siya. 1 over x minus 4. 4x divided by x. 4 na lang. So, magka-cancel out yung x. Plus, so, 4x squared divided by x. 4x na lang. Then, dx. So, yun na siya. So, clear guys? So, ulitin ko before I proceed. So, ang ginawa natin dito is we expand the numerator. Eh sir, sabi ko, balik tayo, bakit hindi natin ginamit yung substitution? Let you. Kasi guys, yung highest order of power of x nasa numerator. Okay, so tandaan nyo lagi. So, hindi laging effective substitution. Pag yung order of power of x mo is what? Nasa numerator yung highest order of power of x. Okay? So dito, gagamit tayo ng division fractions mo na. Okay, so after, so yun, first step, we expand the numerator, then we divide by x. Okay, uh, what's next? 
So, basic na lang to Basic integration formula. So, we apply number 2, di ba? So, we distribute the integral sign into dx. So, may naging integral now of dx over x. Naman? So, we, we distribute distributive property minus integral of 4 dx. Naman? Diyan? Plus integral of 4x dx. Okay, di ba? Madali na siya. Okay. So, what's next now? So, since meron kang constant, which is 4, so pwedeng pull out natin yan. So, integral of dx over x minus 4. Integral of dx plus 4. Integral of x dx. Okay. So, what do you notice now, guys? Dito tayo sa una. So, this one is integral of dx over x. So, si kung bago pa kayo, so pwede tayo mag-long na ito. So, we let, actually, tatlong integration uh, parts yung gagawin, or integration ng tatlong function na ito ngayon. So, uh, if you're practicing always, by, by looking by this one, di ba halos ito, equal siya sa du over u. Diba? So, we can readily say na this, the integral of dx over x is ln or ln of x agad. Tama ba guys? Of course, ano na lang, for practice, pwede ka rin naman mag-long na ito. So, dito. So, ano yun natin? So, you let u is equals to x. Then, of course, derivative ng u mo, du. Then, derivative of x is dx. So, yun din siya. So, you'll end up with the same expression. Okay? So, now, next. So, minus 4. So, what is the integral of dx? So, x. Diba? Plus 4. Then, integral of x, so power formula. So, x, so may exponent 1 yan. So, 1 plus 1. Then, 1 plus 1. So, divide mo. Then, pwede na plus c yan. Then, ln of x minus 4x plus 4. Then, becomes x squared over 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus, then if you're going to check, it'll cancel out. 2 na lang. Okay, so, what will be our answer? So, may iging ln of x or ln of x minus 4x, so 2, plus 2x squared plus c. And this will be our final answer. So, clear guys? So, yun. So, don't worry naman. Since video format tayo, so pwede nyo naman balik-balikan niya. So, replay-replay niya lang yun sa LMS natin. Para at least makuha niyo yung solution dito. Proper solution. Or yung flow ng solution natin. Clear now? Okay. So, let's move to our next problem. Okay. So, may integral naman na Meron na tayong trigo function, which is tangent of x. Okay. Actually, ito guys, uh, pwede natin, or you can solve this one using mas madali kong trigo identities, or trigo, or integral of trigo function, trigonometric function. Pero pwede rin itong substitution. How? How do we perform substitution dito sa function natin, which is integral of tangent of x dx? So, we apply trigonometry, di ba? So, trigo fang or trigo identity. So, what is the trigo identity ng tangent in terms of sine and cosine? So, tangent of x equals siya sa sine x over cosine x. Di ba? So, yun, pwede mong i-replace. So, tangent of x, replace mo ng kanyang identity which is sine, of, sine x over cosine x. So, magiging yung function natin na, na sine x dx or cosine x. Okay? okay? So, what will be our u? Okay, so, so, ang ginawa natin, we substitute now. So, from tangent x dx, we replace it by sine x dx over cosine x. Now, what's our u? Ano yun natin? So, our u will be cosine x. Diba? Then, the derivative of u is du is equal to, what is the derivative of cosine? It's 
negative sine x then derivative of x using general dx then divide both sides by negative 1 so cancel what cancel dito so it becomes negative du is equals to sine x dx so check verify okay so check we can check now na sine x dx we can replace it by negative du and cosine x by u so it becomes integral of negative du over u so of course kung mapansin natin so may negative sa loob so hindi natin pwedeng i-apply agad yung natural logarithm or yung integral so pwede tayo mag factor out natin yung negative 1 which is constant yun na so na magiging du over u na siya. And of course, what is the integral of du over u? Loan now. So it becomes negative loan of u or natural logarithm of u plus c. Then, bringing back the original function na tinanggal natin which is cosine x. So it becomes negative ln of cosine of x plus c. This will be our answer. Of course, guys, this formula is a trigo or integration of trigo function. So, tandaan nyo na yan. So, or take note nyo na yan. Kasi this is a derived formula actually. So, dinerive siya using or this trigo or integration of trigo identity is derived then from substitution. Okay. So, yan na yan. Formula na yan. Okay guys? So, now, let's move to our last problem for this video. So, pwensya na guys, medyo na-extend lang konti. So, ang plan ko kasi at least 20 minutes, pero medyo na pahaba. Okay, so, I'll try to make it short on the next next videos. Okay, so, this will be our last problem. So, our function now is the integral of dx over x ln of x. Ayan. So, meron kang natural logarithm ngayon dun sa function natin. So, medyo tricky to na konti. So, ano yung ating u dito? What will be our u? So, this time, so, ang magiging u natin is ln of x. Ngayon yung ating u. And, what is the derivative? So, du is equal to derivative of ln of x. Of course, pag ln, di ba? Derivative is 1 inverse 1 over x. Multiply by the derivative of your function of x, which is dx. So, it becomes du is equals to dx over x. At kung makapansin natin, di ba nandun siya? dx over x, ito siya. Here. Then, l of x yung u natin. So, we can take now the substitution. We can do substitution now. Sorry. So, integral of itong dx over x, which is du over yung ln of x, which is yung yun natin. So, naiintindihan guys. So, yun, that's how we're going to do the substitution. Yun yung substitution natin. Okay now, so, dali na to. What is the integral of d over u? ln of u plus c. And what is our u? ln of x. So, the answer is ln of natural logarithm of d natural logarithm of x plus c. And this will be our final answer. Oh, for checking, well, let's say uh, or additional na lang. Oh, for checking tayo. So, if you derive, so derivative of ln is 1 over ln of x. Then, derivative of ln of x 1 over x. Then, derivative of x is dx. Then, derivative of constant is 0. Uh, so, multiply nyo na lang. So, magiging dx over x ln of x. So, parehas na siya. So, same with answer with this one. So, clear? So, ayan. So, uh, the key here, guys, para ma-master natin or ma-master nito is practice. So, you need to identify the u. Yung crucial substitution eh. So, tandaan natin. So, at, mm, there are two categories or two part ng substitution. Una, Yung main part natin, or yung first part is yung derivative ay nasa numerator. So, hindi siya rational expression, di ba? Yung succeeding lecture natin. So, pero dito, so part 2 natin is 
ang main form natin, di ba? Yung part 1. Di ba? So, yung part 1 natin. So, just sa closing na na lang. So, part 1 is yung integral of function of u du. Tama? Yun yung part 1 natin. Then, yung part 2, which is integral of du over u, which is this formula deals with uh, rational functions, rational expression ng integration. Okay? So, yun. So, just remember this two identity or two two parts or property and substitution. So of course, another special case. So hindi applicable to dito if yung previous example natin, yung third example natin na yung ito. Kung ang exp ating uh, highest power of x is nasa numerator. So hindi tayo pwedeng mag-apply ng substitution. So mangyayari, we need to perform division pag ganyan. Okay? So tandaan niyo lagi 'yan. And, just in note, a quick note. So, yung dx natin, guys, ito, pansin nyo, lagi yung nasa numerator. So, wala pa akong na-encounter na integral na yung dx mo ay nasa baba. Okay? So, walang ganyan. Okay? So, mali yan. Okay? Yung dx natin, yung derivative of x, a function of x or dy, lagi yung nasa numerator. So, wag na wag nyo gagawin nasa baba yan or nasa denominator. So, okay? And don't forget the constant of integration. Okay now, so this wraps uh, wrap up our video. So please stand by for the exercise. So maybe within this week, uh, you upload the exercise natin, exercise number one. Okay guys, so thank you and stand by for the next video.